Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, and now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts, Mr. Shenanigans himself, and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima's Shenanigans of 1977, episode 925, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to do this quickly because um, I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to try because my videos have been uploading faster ever since I got this new app where I was able to merge all my videos in one shot. So uh, we're kicking off Monday Night Raw. This just happened um, not too long ago. Seth Rollins kicks off Raw and dresses the crown in Omaha. And he says, I'm going to be a fighting champion. I'll fight whoever and whenever. Drew McIntyre comes out, challenges Rollins for a matchup. But he says, not now, not tonight, but at Crown Jewel. What do you think? So Seth Rollins looks at Omaha and says, hey, what do you guys think? So he said, yep. We'll make the match will be a... What, yep, I'll accept your challenge. You and me, Crown Jewel for the World Heavyweight title. But then as he admires uh, Drew McIntyre walking away, Damian Priest attacks him from behind. Drew McIntyre did not even say it and did anything. So then uh, he decided to summon for the briefcase, in which case uh, Dominic Mysterio, where the referee is about to come and make sure Priest catches it in, but Drew McIntyre stops him, punches him in the face and whatnot. And... And uh, there goes that. However, <laughs> however, uh, Rollins, uh, so Rollins fights back against Damian Priest. So, and hence that happens. Uh, Kofi Kingston went one on one with Ivar. Heck of a uh, ba uh, also a battle of real life Massachusetts natives. Kofi Kingston originally from Massachusetts. You know he's originally from Ghana, West Africa, but he moved to Massachusetts for college. And Ivar is originally from Massachusetts. Heck of a matchup. But in the end, Ivar won the Viking Rules match. Byron Saxon interviews Shinsuke Nakamura. And Shinsuke is about to talk about his next goal. Ricochet attacks Nakamura. And those two are still going at it. And he was not, not in a, Ricochet was not in a very good mood. And then in the... In the Judgment Day's locker room, Damian Priest has grabbed uh, J.D. McDonough by his neck. And they're trying to tell him, calm down, calm down, calm down. The Raider says, you, you, know, you guys get your rematch for the tag team titles next week. And they look at and you. Prove yourself. Beat Drew McIntyre. So. So. So that's what's going to happen. Meanwhile, Raquel Rodriguez went one on one with Nia Jax, and these two ladies were going at it until Rhea Ripley um, stuck her nose where it didn't uh, stuck her nose in it. Imagine grabbing Raquel Rodriguez and throws her out of the ring. That was a disqualification victory for Raquel Rodriguez over Nia Jax. And then, while she was about to attack Nia Jax, Ra Raquel Rodriguez gets gets in on the uh, gets the spot, attacking Rhea, and then. And then Shayna Baszler went after Nia Jax. Rhea gets into Shayna's face. And then... And then these two... Then these two ladies went up going at it. A lot more in that situation. <laughs> so... And that's how it is right now. Now Seth Rollins ended up talking to Drew McIntyre in the match and said, Hey... We got our matchup. Adam Pearce made an official crown jewel, but what's up with that? Come, he says, I'll, I'll do it in all good time. So, Seth Rollins goes, all right, well. So, so, uh, Jackie Redmond interviews Shayna Baszler, and Baszler says, you know what? I, you know, I got unfinished, I, I got unfinished business with Naya. I want a piece of Naya. But then as she walked by, she walked by, Kira Tazawa went, 
What's going walking the other way? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh boy. So so there's that. Meanwhile, Michael Colt interviewed uh, uh, Jay Uso and Cody Rhodes. And he said, what's next for you, Cody Rhodes? Is, are you still going to finish the story? And then Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn interrupt them, the former tag champions, and say, hey, it's good to see you guys win the belts. And then Kevin Owens says, no, it's not good to see you guys. But I saw about this. You get us a rematch for those tag team titles, right? And then Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso, we, we accept. So... So there you go. Then, uh, so, so, uh, Chad Gable is receiving chops from Otis. He prepares him, uh, as Maxine Dupree looks on to prepare him for a triple threat con number one contenders match for the Intercontinental Championship. And Bronson Reed, who's one of the competitors, interrupts him and, uh, says that, you know, you know, makes fun of the family and all that. So, just keep chopping me. Uh, Ricochet was about to come out for that matchup, but then Shinsuke Nakamura attacked Ricochet. Officials tried to prevent the match, uh, prevent Nakamura from doing any more damage. Then the match happened, though Ricochet was not 100%. Ricochet versus Bronson Reed, Chad Gable. Heck of a matchup, but Bronson Reed ended up winning the matchup. So next week, the Intercontinental title match of the season premiere of Raw is going to be big. It's going to be huge. Big meaty men slapping meat once again. Bronson Reed, Gunta, for the Intercontinental title. That's going to be a fight. Meanwhile, Jackie Redman interviewed Becky Lynch about defending her title against uh, Tegan Knox, And Becky Lynch is coming out with a book. It's called Becky Lynch, the Man, Not Your Average, Average Girl. And uh, it's going to be out in March of 2024. Pick it up. I don't know. I think I'll pick it up. It'll be a good read. Meanwhile, uh... uh Zia Lee interrupts Becky Lynch and says, hey, when, when I get my shot, and then Becky Lynch says, I'm not hard to find. Drew McIntyre went one-on-one -on -one with Janie McDonough in a Scotland versus Ireland type of matchup, and Drew Mac uh, Janie McDonough is trying to get himself into Judgment Day, but Drew McIntyre ended up winning the matchup. And then Priest talks to Ray Ripley, who are watching the matchup, and Ray Ripley says, I have an idea. You're just going to have to trust me, Priest. Meanwhile, Wade Barrett had an early interview with Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, DIY reunites, and you know what that means, right? Now, Robert Roode's no, not an, um, on the active roster of, for, for the WWE, but he came, but he's, I think he's part of the production team as well. And, that's right, Johnny Gargano has, and Tommaso Ciampa brings back the glorious bomb, you know, when they were video selling themselves, and you hear the Bobby Roode scenes, I'm glorious, I won't give in, I won't give in, and they're like nervous to see how Bobby Roode reacts. And he starts smiling, yeah. And they're like, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. The glorious bomb returns. And uh, <clears throat> and then during that interview, Imperium attacks Gargano and Ciampa. Jackie Redmond interviews uh, Te Tegan Knox about her matchup. She said, I want to, it's not just about the title for me. It's about showing Becky Lynch and everyone else who the, who the bleep I am. And then Natalia interrupts Knox and says, hey, you're going to go out there. You're going to kill it. Well, you know, best of luck to you. And two hug. And they went out there. And then, uh, when Ricky Shea was going around the back calling out Nakamura, uh, Adam Pierce says, hey, listen, I sent Re Re um, Nakamura out of here. You'll have your match against him next week, and so, uh, uh, but since you can't hold him in the ring, he'll be false count anyway, fine. But in the background, Ray Ripley was seen talking to Drew McIntyre. Hmm, what is going on between those two? We'll find out for sure. Meanwhile, the NXT Women's title was on the line as Becky Lynch uh, went one-on-one -on -one with Tegan Knox. Heck of a matchup, but in the end, Becky Lynch did win by just harm her. But then uh, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell asking uh, um, Adam Pearce about Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. And he said, you know, they'll be all right and everything else. But then uh, Ray R Ripley said, hey, you two get out. I need this business to attend. And then Indy kind of pop, you know, popped up and... Um, Popped off at Ray because I am, you know, I, I ain't gonna repeat myself. And in, in, Indy and Candice, well, they had to leave. So uh, then she wants a match against Shayna Baszler next week. He's the key, make that match happen. But then uh, Tegan Knox is sitting down. Natalia was consoling her, saying, "Hey, you did well." I was like, "Yeah, but I lost." And she goes, "Yeah, but you showed every, we showed me, you showed everybody earned respect." And then Caden Carter and Katana Chance say, hey, "Don't beat yourself up, Knox. You did well, you know." 
Oh, no, and then Chelsea Green and Piper Nibbit interrupts them. <clears throat> Are we having a pity party? And, all? and then Natalia gets into Piper Nibbit's face. He goes, anytime, anyway. Season premiere on Raw next week. And Natalia says, I'll be there. And then, uh, <clears throat> and then McIntyre confronts Uso, and they said, like, you know, we still want to go out. You want to go out? We got five minutes here. And then Sami Zayn came up with, "Are we good? Are we good? Yeah, we're good." And then Sami, and then Uso goes, "Yeah, I appreciate you having it back, but tonight it's about it's gold time." And and before they entered the ring, they said, "Sami Zayn said you couldn't you couldn't tell me twice." So, but then they had. A Ludwig Kaiser vignette sees his European elegance. Stealing someone's girl, taking a selfie with him. Weirdos. Then they had the tag team title match. Jay Uso and Cody Rose defending against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. What the heck match that was. It could have gone either way, but Uso and Rhodes did retain. So that is all the time we have on the show. Episode 525, Eric Lemus shenanigans of 1977. The Fallout from Fastlane Part 1. Part 2 will be this Friday night on SmackDown. But tomorrow, NXT is going to be huge. And I'll be watching both NXT and AEW Dynamite. I know how to get that problem solved. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. In association with a sweet both of raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.